Hi folks, Harry Frank here with a quick tip on using Null Light Factory EZ. I've got a really cool expression tip that will make this a lot easier to use. Now, if you do own Null Light Factory and you haven't downloaded the Null 3D Flare utility, you might want to do yourself a favor and get over to Red Giant Software and grab this. It's a free tool and what it does is allow you to use After Effects lights in conjunction with Null Light Factory. It'll drive their intensity and their scale. Um, there's color linking, all kinds of good stuff. And like I said, it's a free download. If you want to find it, you can simply search for Null 3D in the search box there and you'll find it just fine. So here I'm going to use the Null Light Factory EZ button right here. And all I need to do is select this light and click on Null Light Factory EZ. Now, what makes EZ so easy is that there is a pop-up menu here that allows you to pick from a bunch of very useful presets. If you want more control and you want to be able to edit these in a very detailed manner, you're going to want to use a regular old Light Factory. But with a sheer number of presets in here, Null Light Factory EZ is often a very good starting point. One of the things though, that gets a little frustrating with this pop-up menu is browsing the presets. You have to go through here, click on these and select them one at a time. This can get kind of annoying. So there's actually a very easy way to uh, quickly search through these. And that's using a very simple expression in conjunction with an expression slider control. So I'm gonna select this layer, go to effect, expression controls, slider control. And in fact, you might wanna rename this if you happen to hand this project off to somebody else and they go to select that pop-up menu and they can't change it, they might get a little confused. So if you put this flare type expression right next to it, it'll help people out in the future. So what I'm going to do is simply connect the flare type to this numeric slider. Any pop-up list in a plugin is simply a numeric list at least according to expressions. They're just a one, two, three, four, et cetera, et cetera list. And uh, we can drive this with an expression. So what I'm going to do is go down here to my comp window, tap E to show my effects. And I'm gonna twirl open that flare type. And I'm also going to go up here, hold down the Alt or Option key and click on that stopwatch so I can get an expression for that. I'm just gonna grab this pick whip right here and target the slider. Now what I've done is connected a numeric slider to this list. Now I mentioned that first item is number one. So from zero to one, you're not gonna see anything happen, but from one to two and all the way upward, we can select these numerically using the slider. And if you want, you can even select the flare type and the slider and click on brainstorm. You can click on brainstorm over and over to get a sort of a visual preview of each of these flares. Get a full frame free view, apply that to your composition. So that's my quick tip for today. My name's Harry. Thanks for watching.